Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing my April bullet journal layout and I have to tell you I don't really love this title page. I did something really simple but I got one of the colors slightly off so I have gone back and since edited it and I'm sorry that you won't see that you'll have to check out my Instagram to see how I changed up the title page because this green just did not work for me. I went for more of like a bluey minty almost kind of color for the rest of the spreads and I really liked that so I went back and changed that on this and it matches that background on the April paper much better. Um, that's in, All of these choices were inspired by this particular washi tape because I love this washi tape. It's nice and springy and bright. On my quote page, I opted to do live life in full bloom. Even if I can't spend as much time outside as I would like to right now, I definitely wanted to bring that into my bullet journal because I'm getting a little cabin fevery. I can't lie. And I wanted something nice and bright and sunshiny to remind me that the whole world isn't totally bad right now. I needed that positivity and it's working really well so far. Next up, we have my standard TBR page. If you guys have not watched my April TBR, I highly suggest you do. I have this wild idea of reading 30 novels in 30 days, and I'm going to be a mad woman probably for doing it, but I'm genuinely excited to be working on my physical TBR that I own here at home and just catching up on things. And I really will still be doing some of my normal things like Thirsty Thursday and Tell It Again. But I have a fun thing I'm doing this month, and I'm doing the Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind read-along hosted by Laura over at the Manga Hoarder. And since I'm not doing a releases on my radar this month due to publishing dates being all sorts of wacky because of the state of the world, I took that spread where I would normally do that and put all the information for the Nausicaa read-along, so I have it at a quick glance. I will leave Laura's announcement video linked down below. Make sure you go check her out. She is one of my favorite creators, and she deserves a whole lot more love than she is getting. So definitely go check out her channel and tell her that Shay sent you. Next up are my standard books read and manga read spreads. In these, it's just kind of like a bank balance book where I write down the titles of the books I've read and their ratings just so I have that at a glance. And it also keeps me accountable for making sure I get my reviews written because I'm storing them all in one place. And that does tend to help me stay on task when it comes to that. Yes, I know I'm currently behind, but I will be catching up on that relatively soon. I'm hoping to get all caught up this week and so that you guys will know my full thoughts on everything. This is a spread, as I say every time, that I stole from Chloe over at Journal with Chloe, aka Books with Chloe. And this is just tracking like the days that you physically read. She does audiobooks. I just do digital reads. So that's like my e-arcs and my audiobooks because I find it interesting to see if I do one or the other. And I've really enjoyed doing this. It's kind of this like tick box and it helps keep me accountable and wanting to read every day because I like marking that off in my bullet journal. I missed a few days last month just due to everything going on. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but I am genuinely happy with these spreads and they're just kind of aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing to look at, but it's one of those things where they are a pain to draw in. My hand was cramping as I was doing this and I really just had a fantastic time putting together this month's bullet journals. I kept it really simple and just let the washi shine through. I didn't do a lot of doodling. And then I just had the great um, Zebra Mild Liners to bring things together and just give it this great April springy feel. I was originally going to go with a different theme, but this one just spoke to me and the ease of it was really great. And Again, kind of took this idea roughly from Chloe, do it a little bit different though. So I have a favorite quotes of the month page and then a 
spread about my favorite book of the month. So I just kind of have those things at a glance each month and I love having them very, very much. I keep them simple, just wide open so I can kind of doodle or add stickers or do whatever I want to do at the time. And then the last spread that I do every month is a monthly stats page. This is where I track how many books, how many manga, how many audiobooks and total pages read, as well as how much I'm reading in each demographic of manga. Making sure that I am showing all of the demographics some love is something that I am really striving to do in 2020 because I am primarily a shoujo reader. So I really want to keep track of that and keep myself accountable in that fashion. So that's it for this month, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are staying happy and healthy and doing everything you can to find the good things in life. Let me know in the comments down below if you like these spreads and something that's going good in your life right now. Maybe it's good for you to be home or it's good to have your spouse home. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.